What's up guys, welcome back, and as you guess, I'm in work again. Um, hey, I'm on call, that's my job. Uh, sorry the camera's shaking every now and then. Uh, I forgot my tripod, and so it's, I've got it sort of balanced on the shelf. So every time I move, and you see it wobbles. Yeah, can't be helped. Um, so I did get a chance to go to my store, I've been there already, which is thankful. Uh, I picked up the new previews. Um, I have to say, I'm not impressed with what I'm seeing with the new Wonder Woman outfit. I'm not digging that at all. You know, she's got the big spikes and the big shoulder pads. Um, she's not showing as much flesh, and I kind of miss that. I'm a dude. I like to see Wonder Woman's flesh. She's at Amazon. Um, I don't think it's right she should be covered up. Um, but that's my choice. You know, that's my opinion. Um, the new Superman look, back to jeans and t-shirt. Ah, it's okay. Don't mind it, but come on. It's not going to last forever, is it? It's going to be back to his normal suit. Um, I believe he's like coming out in public with his identity after Convergence as well and stuff. And then, I guess, the other big one is, we've all seen this picture of the new Batman, which looks like a big fucking mech rabbit. Um, I think that's just... Uh, I think that's just a gimmick. I think that's just a ploy. I don't think that's what the real Batman would be. At least I hope not. I don't know. Um, suck if it was. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how the new convergence and you know what, everything that happens after convergence, how that's gonna. I don't know how it's gonna go down. You know, like everyone, we don't. None of us like change. Um, uh, you know, I really enjoyed New Fifty Two. I'm sad to see it go. Um, so this month, a lot of books are ending, um, and last month. Uh, so yeah, I'm, you know, Batman Robins come ten. So. I'm I'm not sad to see it go. I really am. Um, got quite a reasonable stack of books this week, uh, plus a trade. Um, so the trade I picked up was Deadly Class Volume Two. Uh, volume One was fantastic. Um, I can't really cannot wait to read Volume Two. Cannot wait. Um, what else I pick up? Picked up Suicide is One. So it's. Bit cross between uh, Escape from LA and The Gladiator. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm digging it or not. Um, it looks very cool. It looks very nice. But yeah, it's about basically gladiators, enhanced beans, fighting out arenas. Um, then you have like sort of people trying to, I think, escape from Los Angeles or escape into Los Angeles. I don't know. Um, I picked up another copy of Guardians Galaxy 24. Um, I do dig that front cover. Um, I'm going to have to reverse it. So I picked up another copy of Guardians 24. And of all new X-Men 39. And all new X-Men 38. And now the reason for this being was I dropped Guardians of the Galaxy. And I dropped all new X-Men. Uh, I was just trimming my pool list. And I had, to I had to get rid of something. So that's what went. Um, at the time I was very pissed off with Guardians of the Galaxy. I kept seeing how much it was just a team book, and then they brought out Galaxy Galaxy team up book. So, is that two team up books? I don't know. But I've been really enjoying the Black Vortex storyline. And uh, tell me if you guys do this as well. I, I can't be the only fucker. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, I'm listening. Look, Jesse Simpson, this is for you. I'm playing the Lonely Island music. Um, uh, I'm on a boat. <laughs> So, I'm on a motherfucking boat. Uh, so, yeah, um, I wanted basically in my box, I'm gonna have a section for Black Vault sets. Um, now, the anal person inside me says, I cannot have all new X Men over with all new X Men and not with Black Vortex, and vice versa, I can't have all new X Men with Black Vortex and not in all, all new X Men. So, being the anal bastard that I am, I went and bought doubles. So basically, anything that crosses over into Guardians of the Galaxy, Nova, um, and all the next men, I'm buying doubles off so I can have my complete runs and my mini story. Uh, it's stupid, I know, it's crazy, but, you know, it's a waste of money in some respects, but at the same point, peace of mind. So, yeah, I'm buying doubles. Um, because I, yeah, when we've got Secret War coming out, the, the, the current volume of Guardians of the Galaxy is going to come to an end. It's going to be another volume, obviously. Uh, all New X Men coming to an end. I think the last one's this month. There's nothing from me, I believe. 
Um, it's going to be sad, but I'm sure the team will turn up another book, you know. Um, same with Nova, I think that's coming to end. So there's a lot of books coming to end on Marvel and DC side, so I'm taking this opportunity to get a lot of my filler books out of the way, you know. Um, like, for example, uh, let me show you. Da, da, da. Where are they? Okay, so yeah, for example, <coughs> I also dropped Red Hood and the Outlaws uh, about three months ago. And then this is before I knew about Convergence and stuff. So I've gone back through Red Hood and the Outlaws, <coughs> picked up issue 38, issue 39, <coughs> excuse me, hold on. And issue 40. Um, that finishes my Red Hood run completely now, which is cool. Got all the Red Hood. Happy days. Um, so I also went back and picked up... Ba -ba, all, all New X-Men 35. Uh, 36. And 37. So that brings my X -Men, uh, All New X-Men run up to complete. And to be honest, I'm actually upset that I actually... Um, I'm upset I actually dropped all new X-Men because I read those books and they were really good. So, kind of feel a bit of a douche for dropping them. I shouldn't have. Uh, but that's cool. I picked up uh, da -da, a couple of Scotty Young covers. I've uh, been out for a while, but I kind of missed the boat on them. Um, basically, my, my, sh my guy at the stop's got like... Imagine a hoarder's room with shit everywhere. That's kind of what he has. Um, so he stumbles across things he didn't know he had. And this week he stumbled across uh, two Spider-Man variants. So we've got Superior Spider-Man 32, Scott Young. And you guessed it, Amazing Spider-Man number 9. Yeah, so there you go. So they're cool. Happy to have those in the collection. There you are. Um, I believe they do a poster of this. And um, I might actually get a poster because that's very cool. Always happy to have Scott Young in my box. <laughs> Uh, what else we pick up this week? Black Vortex Chapter 9, Legend Star-Lord. Um, no idea what's going to happen here, haven't read it. Uh, Black Vortex Chapter 8, Nova 28. Okay, I think I'll get another Nova, I've only got one Nova, I think. Yeah, so I'll get another Nova. Nova Nova, Nova Nova 28 I've got to pick up. Um, yeah, and this is where I should say Uncanny X-Men. Uh, not Uncanny X-Men, sorry. I should have had Uncanny X-Men this week, but the shop didn't deliver it. And I should have had Guardians of the Galaxy 25 this week. But again, that got missed off his list. So I can't read Chapter 8 or 9 yet because Chapter 7 is the Guardians of the Galaxy issue and I haven't got that. So, oh well. That's life, isn't it? Um, it's not the end of the world. I'll get him, you know. So I'm just clicking my computer. I uh, picked up the final part of Mono. Uh, basically about a uh, half man, half ape in World War II doing his thing. Um, he's fighting this Nazi who's like a big game hunter. It's okay. Um, to be honest, the story's not brilliant, but the art's fantastic, I think. Uh, we have Dave, issue two. Uh, about an ex uh, robot that used to be a soldier. Um... Tired of his mundane life, and now the war's over. And thankfully, an alien's come to, uh, I think aliens have come to take over the Earth, so that's going to make it really good for him, he's going to kick some ass again. Really enjoying that. Batman 51, one issue to go, can you believe it? Um, feels like forever, doesn't it? Um, I almost don't want to read this, because if Clue Master is the big fucking bad of the whole series, then I'm going to be, not pissed off, but kind of a little bit, you know, deflated. You know, you want, you know, we know one's going to be jo Joker. I don't know why, we just didn't know one's going to be Joker. But then, you kind of wanted to be one of the big guys, and then like, they're throwing like, oh, we've made it like it's the bad guys. So that has a twist on everything. Not really. It just kind of let me underwhelmed. Um, and kind of like, mm, what was the point? So, you know, who knows. Uh, Deathstroke 6 with his granddad on the front cover, kicking his ass. Um, really enjoying this this uh, book. You know, really, if, if you to enjoy Deathstroke, just take your brain out, <laughs> read it and enjoy it. That's all you need to do. Uh, final part of Arkham Manor. There we go. Um, I've been really enjoying this, actually. Uh, really enjoying the art in this book. Batman looks 
cool there. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this book. Um, I'll start to you go, to be fair. It's been a really good little story. And finally, Batman and Robin 40. Uh, last issue of Batman and Robin. I am sad. Um, I guess in this issue, this is all about Robin breaking free of his, on his own. And we're going to see exactly what Robin can do in this issue, I guess. Um, to set up for the new, what's it? What, Team Robin or something coming out and we and Robin, Robin, son of Batman or some shit. Um, <sighs> don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be picking out that book. As much as I love Damien, and I am a human Damien fan, I love Damien. Um, for me, the, 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 the what I like about Damien is his relationship with his father. Uh, and that's where the real enjoyment comes for me. And I'm sure in his own book that will be confronted with his father. I kind of feel like in his own second book that would be put slightly to one side as Damien goes off and has his wonderful adventures. I, I probably will pick it up and know what I'm like, but I'm not overly looking forward to the new Damien book. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, so that's it. There's some more books this week. Um, wow. It feels like a rattle through them really quick. Or I'm just rambling up. I don't know. Um, I did treat myself to a new camera this week. Um... So there you go, little, there you go, little GoPro uh, three silver edition. Um, if comic book quickies reading this, this would be going on my helmet. Helmet, not yet. <laughs> so yeah, I might do some vlogs with it. I don't know, but I, I was thinking I'm probably just going to do some videos. Me just cruising around on my scooter, just show you some of the scenery I I get to look at every day. Um, I got this on offer actually. It was like. I think a third off, which is, it was still expensive, but a third off is a third off, right? And this little thing is tiny as hell. Look how small that is. It played my fingers. So, uh, yeah, and it's, uh, it's like full 10 HD, full 1080 HD. The, the clarity, I've, I've been on it and used it once already. The clarity of this thing is fucking ridiculous. Um, super clear pictures. Um, It'll probably, it'll probably be about a week or so before I put anything up because I'm just getting used to playing with the camera and whatnot. But we'll see. You know, I might put one on there. We'll see how it goes. Um, get these clamps and stuff with it. I've got a whole, whole host of clamps to use. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know why. I, I, I just bought it on a whim, I guess. I was just, I was feeling a bit down. I thought, oh, I'll buy it. You know, a bit of retail therapy. Um, I've just had to order the case off eBay because, as you can see from the case, this is a waterproof case. And uh, right here, there's no hole for you to put your mic in. So I've ordered another case off eBay and a microphone off eBay, so that can I can rig it up. And um, we'll see. We'll give it a go. Let's see if I can vlog. Um, I've never really vlogged properly before. I gave it a go in the past. Um, didn't have a lot to say, unfortunately. Um, I guess I'm just not that interesting. Uh, but at the same point, back then when I did try it, I wasn't. I don't know. I wasn't doing my books back then. It was just before I got collecting again. So maybe we'll have something to talk about this time. Um, but you, you guys will be the judge of that, whether you enjoy it or not, not me. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, I wasted a lot of money on the camera I didn't really need, but fuck it. I wanted it. Um, why not? You know, you work hard, you've got to treat yourself every now and then, right? And uh, I'm donning my uh, Roman Reigns t shirt for WrestleMania this weekend. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are watching WrestleMania. I'll be watching WrestleMania. Been a huge WWE fan since I was probably six years old. So 30 years of watching WWE. Uh, my wife keeps saying, why haven't you grown out of it yet? Um, really, I don't think I will grow out of it. and never will. Um, and I have no issues with that. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Um, uh, the WWE actually coming to my hometown of Bournemouth uh, on April 14th. And I'm going to see them. So that's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, I think the, the main villain is Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins, and uh, Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper, and then there'd be like Adrian Neville and stuff like that, Sami Zayn. It's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, my predictions for WrestleMania, uh, Roman Reigns didn't take the belt off Brock Lesnar. Um, how he does it, who knows? You know, could he... Could we see Roman Reigns turn dark and cheat the win? Possibly. Uh, or could we see Roman Reigns win, Seth Rollins come out, cash in money in the bank? Possibly. Um, John Cena's going to take the uh, the um, 
Oh god, so the US title. Um, it's got to be between Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryant for the Intercontinental. I would probably say Daniel Bryant purely because he's been shafted out of the Royal Rumble and, uh, and stuff. And, uh, you know, a rumour has it Triple H wants those two titles to have mean something again. So, you know, he's going to put Daniel Bryant, John Cena holding those titles. That's going to elevate those titles to mean something again. Um, Divas match, who cares? Um, I'm not saying I don't care about the Divas match. It's just I don't really enjoy the storyline. Um, you know, unfortunately for WWE, they don't really give the ladies enough time to really develop their characters and their stories properly. Um... And so, therefore, you just you don't really end up caring about them, which is a shame. Um, the highlight's going to be it's going to be the heavyweight match and the Intercontinental Belt it's a seven man looking ladder match for the belt. It's going to be fucking crazy. Um, oh, yeah, we've got Undertaker. Undertaker's come back. Um, um, I don't know how I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I was pissed that he, the streak was broken last year. And I kind of feel like he should have left it there. Um, you know, I kind of feel like they're bringing Undertaker back now just as a cash cow. And that's wrong. You know, I don't want him to keep bringing Undertaker back just to hurt his legacy, you know. And that's wrong. Uh, so that's it. Um, for those of you who don't like WWE, I'm sorry I just rambled on about it for the last couple of minutes. But, you know, just saying it. Um, so that's it. That's this week done. Another one done in the bank already, uh, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Uh, I've been watching all you guys' videos. I haven't been commenting as much as I like because I've been, honestly, I've been crazy busy uh, this week. Um, I've been starting work at like 6 o'clock, leaving at 6 o'clock. Then I've got to go to the gym. And then I've got to go see my mum, checking on it. Yeah, it's like, before you know it, I'm getting home from 8, 9 o'clock at night. You know, it's been it's been a real struggle for me just to read like 8 comic books this week, you know, which is just, crazy. Um, this is probably about a week's... This would be a good, solid week's worth of reading for me. Um, and I probably wouldn't get to the trade. Uh, which is probably why I've got a healthy selection of trades I haven't read yet. But, you know, that's just where it is. Um, sometimes there's just not enough hours in the day as much as I would love there to be. Um, so, yeah. That's it. That's me done. That's me posting off. Um, if you stay to the end of this watch video, I thank you very, very much. Uh, I view, I value all your views and uh, all your comments, and uh, you're part of my extended family. So thank you. Uh, so once again, be safe, be careful, be good to one another. Take care. Bye.